Hi. So basically you are familiar with object reference not set to an instance of an object. This is a very common error. Every developer are facing this type of issues every time when they are developing something. So what you have to do before going forward to testing these kind of error that you can see on my screen. This is only happen once you forgot to test an object before accessing it. See an example on my screen why I am getting this error because you see I have a new object that, that is class that is my test name and age then I am putting some values name and age what, what I did over here this is this is good so far what I did here I made that obj test equals to null okay it could be coming from the database it could be from any source if if there is a one percent of the of like a possibility of getting a null object or maybe uh, your value or maybe your string or maybe something or field or property is going to be null on any case like you're getting any data from apis or something you have to check that object value to avoid null reference error here like i did a test if if i uh, i'm coding and i'm doing something like that i i don't have i i have to check every time it's not null i have to make sure before accessing the property of this guy i have to check that, that this should not be null so here we are good but see like what i did after the closing the, uh, the, the test the null test i did something i access that null value and i am checking that name property so if an object is null you cannot access you cannot apply any function on that this is the major call uh, like cause we we do like if we are running apis and we are getting the data from somewhere else we don't know what the server is sending the data but but we are accessing that so we have to make sure like we are testing the uh, not null maybe we also have to test like oh visit test dot name not equals to null if you are going to apply something on that like if you are going to apply something on obj test dot name dot trim if you are doing something like that you have to check this guy as well if it's null it's going to give you error over here if it's not null then it's okay so every time you are checking you are doing any functional on on any object that there is a one percent of chance of getting null value from the server from the database from the tables you have to make sure like you are checking that value before going forward before coding anything before using that uh, object uh, and and comparing anything applying any function on that object or any property i i think uh, it's pretty much simple now and you got what you need thank you so much um,